Today I am building a litter box screen. Because my cats are assholes. Hey guys, how's it going? To start this project off, I break into my stash of pallet wood, and since I don't have a jointer, I take them to the table saw and run each board through the saw about three times a side, taking off a blade width or so with each pass. This effectively cancels out any potential deviation in the edge of the board, and even if it's not perfect, it's close enough for what I need. With the edges cleaned up, I throw the boards into some clamps for glue up and wait overnight. At this point it was about minus 30 celsius outside, but with my heater going full tilt and the little bit of insulation I've been adding into the shop, if you missed that video you can check it out up here. I figured that there would be enough heat retention in the garage between me shutting down for the day and the inevitable refreeze for the glue to properly set up, keeping in mind that I was probably still working in the garage for about an hour or so afterward. The next day I pull the panel out of the clamps and break out the powered hand plane to flatten it out, at least as close to flat as I need it, by taking multiple passes at a 45 degree angle and then a final clean up pass going with the grain. Then I break out the random orbit sander and sand through the grits up to about 220 grit. With the sanding done I pull out the crosscut sled and cut the panel into the three pieces I need and sand the cut edges down to 220 grit as well. And with that done, it's time for assembly. So I pull the right angle clamps out of the drawer and start screwing the panels together. No pocket holes today, I'm just going straight through. Still gluing the joints though. To keep the front side from flexing out too far, I'm installing these cross braces in, which are just off cuts of pallet wood from my Batleth project. If you missed that video, you can also check it out up here. With the assembly done, I take the screen into my basement finishing room and apply two coats of oil-based polyurethane, sanding with 320 grit in between coats to denib the finish. And with that, this project is done. I know you can get enclosed litter boxes to try and stop the litter from being flung everywhere, but... This head is the entire reason for this project. Like I said earlier, he's an asshole and doesn't like to use the enclosed ones. And the floor in this room is almost always in need of sweeping because he's extremely thorough in covering up his bathroom breaks and kicks the litter everywhere. And you'd think for the hour or so that I had the camera pointed at the litter box, one of the cats would have used it. Oh well, I guess it is kind of weird that I'm trying to record them taking a crap. And with that, I'm going to call it a video. Thank you all for watching and if you like what I'm doing here, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you have any questions or comments, I look forward to reading them in the comment section below. And if you want to see more up-to-date projects, you can follow me on Instagram at JohnTheShrine. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next video, and have a good one.